So this is something a little bit different. This is an excerpt taken from a Blue Peter episode, which was of a sequence that was done to show the conditions for a national serviceman in the 1950s. And you'll recognise at least one of the faces uh, here, which is uh, Alan Pryor, who did the Keithley Drill Hall uh, do with us. So I thought this would be of interest. Rather accurately shows the uh, conditions for a uh, national serviceman on entering the army in the 1950s. All right, mate, have you any idea where we're going? Yeah, guard room, first on the left. Thank you. My number's 23420877, Baker, M. Uh, I come from Durham, my dad's got a farm up there. I've never been away from home before, so I don't really know what to expect. I'm number 23420798, Jones, G. I was allowed to delay my national service because I've been to university, so I'm quite used to being away from home. But I really, really don't want to be here. They've got the saying in the army, if it fits, you must be deformed. Thank you. Yeah. There you go. Cheers. Okay. <laughs> well, this is bull. Hours of needless polishing and cleaning, getting ready for inspection. That's just about there now, mate. You're going to it. That's my belt. You're going to look a now. Dear ma'am, sorry I haven't written sooner, but we hardly ever seem to have a minute to ourselves. In fact, I even go to sleep dreaming I'm working on my kit. But it has to be exactly right or else there's big trouble. One good thing is the other lads here. We're all in it together and we try to look out for each other. Put that on there. Where's your daps? Um, here, I've got him. Oh, OK. Don't worry, mates. Oh, no. Quit. Wipe your fork and spoon. Wipe your fork and spoon. Thanks, sir. Very good, very good. Thank you, sir. Gents. Sir. Do you see it? Do you see how dirty it is, Jones? Sir. That is filth. And I will not have this sort of filth in my barrack room, Jones, will I? Sir. This is disgusting! Sergeant? Sir. One day's withdrawal of privileges for this barrack room. Sir. Well done. Very well done. You just heard what the officer said. Filth. Spectacular. Absolutely spectacular. It's also not very good for coffee. And I heard the officer was very impressed with yours. Sadly, I'm not. And actually, I can't even be bothered to do his, so you're going to do it on behalf of everybody else. Go on. Move! Well done. Glad you feel the same way. I feel really bad. I'm trying my very best, but it's just not good enough. And every time I fail, everyone else has to suffer. To be honest, it's so hard getting my kit exactly right. I've taken to sleeping on the floor. The nights are Baker's worst times. He gets really homesick. Stop shuffling and looking at the ground. It's still there. It has not moved. Aim out. Tap. As you were. Step forward two paces. About turn. What was the point of university if not to teach you to think for yourself? About turn. Here, thinking for yourself is strictly against the rules. See, you can do it, can't you? Don't right. do that wrong again. I'll pull back in again. Someone! Dear ma'am, I'm not sure God meant me to be a soldier. We're being trained in the everyday business of killing other human beings. The other lads don't seem to worry too much about it. Baker reckons it's the fault of all that learning I've had. As soon as you hear that on guard charge, you just go. It doesn't matter if you're sticking your bayonet into a sack full of straw or another soldier, you just go. Charge! And again! Come on! I see some damage! What's the matter with you? Don't tickle him, hurt him! I quite like watching boxing, but I've never had a fight. In fact, I don't think I've ever hit anybody in my life before. <laughs> Baker's been one of my closest friends here. I just feel a bit bad. That was Jonesy. Do up yourself, man. That was. Come on, PT now. This 
This is the army, Mr. Jones. Get those arms up, shoulder heights. No private rooms or telephones. You look up, look have up. your breakfast in bed before, but you won't have it there anymore. Have you shaved this morning, Joe? Sir! I don't think so. Listen to me. You're crinkling like a pan of chips, Jones. Sir! May I suggest, next time, you stand a little bit closer to the razor. Sir! Sergeant, sir. take that man's name. Got him, sir. You had your breakfast in bed. Jankers is one of the worst things about this place. It's basically their word for punishment. It entails meaningless things like cutting the grass with nail scissors, endless cleaning, and peeling sack loads of potatoes. You had a How you going on, Baker? Oh, oh, I'm sick of the sight of these things. Oh, well, there's plenty more here. Let me finish those. Oh, you're joking. Get right that square. Oh, get his knees up. Up, 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 up. Oh, that's it, Jones. You're done. Oh, hell. I tell you what, I don't think it's worth talking on parade. I'm just trying to make the best of my time here and that, but uh, he's a funny bloke, eh? Dear ma'am, I didn't mean to worry you with my last letter. It's not all bad, you know. I think the best times we have are in the naffy or canteen. I love it in the naffy. It's great. It's a chance to relax and, you know, not clean things all the time and do chores and run around the yard for no reason. Do you know what I mean, Mickey? Aye, aye. There's a couple of great things about the naffy. Uh, one is you're allowed to talk yeah. as opposed to being on trail, which yeah. is always good. That's and true. there's a couple of uh, lasses behind the counter. Jonesy is very popular with them, especially when he starts singing his Welsh songs. I know, but, but Baker, they're not interested in this. Aye. Adventure, aren't we, Jonesy? Yeah, we are, yeah. I don't really know what to expect. I'm quite looking forward to it. It's Malaya, apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know either. Are we going to get there anyway? By boat, Baker. By boat. Have you ever oh, been we... on a boat before? I prefer to keep my feet on dry land, really, but I uh, hope I don't get uh, seasick. No. You up for it? Yeah, I'm ready to go. You'd look great with a tan anyway. Go and get packing. <laughs> Dear man, we've got our tropical kit, and don't we just look a picture in it? It's hard to know what it will be like out there. We're all a bit keyed up. We're all pretty good mates now, and whatever happens, that'll get us through. Come on, quick, say hot country. Hot country. Say Malaya. Malaya! Malaya! Must get off now. Love to Dad. Your loving son, Geth. Yeah, it was a real insight to experience what life was like 50 years ago for all of those who went off to do national service. And the reason we wear poppies is to remember those who went to war and lost their lives. <laughs>